In this video we will discuss how to set up WordPress on localhost. Before we continue don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the notification icon so that you don't miss out on great content on WordPress and WooCommerce. Firstly, open your browser and search ZAMP download. Now, click on apachefriends.org and go to the download options. Here, you will see three latest and earlier versions of ZAMP. Download the latest ZAMP application. Go to the Downloads folder and start installing ZAMP from the downloaded file. After your installation has started this should take at least 5 to 6 minutes. Until then, open a new tab and go to WordPress.org to download the latest version of WordPress. Click on the top right option, Get WordPress. Then, click on the download and install link to go to the next step. Here, you can download the latest version of WordPress, in this case, version 5.7.2. WordPress will start downloading in the browser. After it's done, go to your downloads folder and right-click on the zip file to extract. You will see a folder named WordPress open it. Select all the files and copy them. Go to your C drive to access the XAMPP folder. Now go to htdocs and make a new folder. You can name it according to your website title. In this case I have named it demo site. Open the folder and paste your WordPress files here. When you are done, close the folder. Go to the Start menu and open the XAMPP control panel. Here, you need to activate Apache and MySQL modules to run WordPress on localhost. Now, go to your web browser and type localhost, phpMyAdmin, and press Enter. Go to Databases and in the database name type the same website name that you used earlier. In the drop-down select, Collation, and click on Create button. Now, open a new tab and type localhost, your site name for example demo site, and press enter. You will see a WordPress installation window select your preferred language and press continue. Click the option, let's go, to access the next window. In, database name, use the same website title as used earlier. In the username option always use root. But you can insert a custom password or keep it blank. In the database host and table prefix use the default values then click submit. Click on run the installation button. Here, you will see a new WordPress installation window. Type your website name in the site title. Type a custom username, for example, admin. You can create a custom password for your admin panel. I highly recommend using a recovery email id in case you forget your password or login details. Only select this option if you don't want Google to index your website to show in search results after its publication. Therefore I am leaving it at default. After you are done click on install WordPress. After installation, you will see a login window. Use the default values and click on the login button. Now, type your username and custom password. Select the Remember Me option if you don't want to insert these details again, then press the Login button. Congratulations! Your WordPress dashboard is ready to use. To see your website preview you can go to the Visit Site option and open it in a new tab window. In the WordPress dashboard, you can add new posts such as blogs or articles. In Media you can upload images, in the Pages option, you can edit or add new pages to your website. Follow this video step by step to install WordPress on localhost and build your website today. Check out our other videos on how to customize your website using WordPress and WooCommerce. Check out LearnWoo.com for more articles, videos and resources related to WordPress and WooCommerce. Go subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to follow us on social media channels.
If you have any ideas, suggestions and topics to cover related to WordPress and WooCommerce do let us know in the comment section.